assalamu alaikum students as i mentioned in the very beginning of the lesson that uh, we will broadly divide motion into two categories a rectilinear motion that's uh, motion along the circular path uh, sorry motion along a straight line and a circular motion that's motion along the circular path so uh, so far we have uh, been talking about rectilinear motion because everywhere we have been talking about motion in a straight line now uh, let's look at circular motion we will here specifically talk about uniform circular motion so let's see what is uniform circular motion so a body is said to be in uniform circular motion if it moves in a circular path with uniform acceleration okay so it means the body has to move along a circular path and when i say uniform circular motion it means that the body is not only moving along circular path but also moving with uniform acceleration now what is this uniform acceleration that is it's moving with the velocity which is constantly changing with time but uniformly okay let's suppose if a person moves along this direction say it moves with a constant speed along the same direction in that are your velocity not changing with time Uh, say suppose let's suppose and that the uh, person moves along the path like this you can see here as soon as he uh, he is moving in the east direction now as soon as he takes a right turn the direction has to change even though the magnitude of velocity say remains same uh, suppose he was moving at um, 10 km per hour but as soon as he changes his direction so the velocity changes so if we take this path here he has to change his direction you can see here in this path he has to change his direction four times similarly if um, uh, he has to move in a path like this you can see here now how many times he changes his direction he changes his path you can see a 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 almost nine times it means the nine it means nine times the velocity changes its direction now if you consider a circular path what happens in case of a circular path at every point your velocity changes the direction that means your velocity is always changing is changing with time so that is why we say that a body has a uniform acceleration so that means throughout the entire circumference the velocity keeps on changing its direction and we say that velocity uniformly changes with time and thus the body has uniform acceleration so such a body is said to be in uniform circular motion let's uh, take a small example of such a motion say suppose uh, you take a stone and tie it uh, to a string and start rotating it okay uh, what happens the st uh, stone moves in a circular path right so as soon as you leave the stone the stone will uh, be thrown away in a particular direction okay so if at this point you leave it if at this point you leave it a stone will be thrown outward in this direction right so it means at every point of time the stone by itself wants to move in a particular direction right so the, the only reason for that is because of the force which is exerted by the center because you are holding the thread with your finger so you are exerting the force and because of which every time it moves towards the center and that's how it travels travel uh, travels as a circle okay so as soon as this force is gone it will move tangential so in case of uniform circular motion the direction of velocity at every instant is tangential to the circle it's along a tangential direction and what's tangent um it's any line which touches the circle at one point right so this line is a tangent right so uh, this was a brief about uniform circular motion thank you